Johnny, one quick announcement before we get started. Uh, Rusny Castillo has been optioned to Pawtucket. Uh, there'll be a corresponding move uh, on Friday. Why? Why? <laughs> well, I know we didn't clear it with you, but um, we, we need to get him out and get him going. We need to get uh, some at-bats uh, to get him playing every day. Can talk about Joe Cowie and, and the rest of the pitches tonight. You know, Joe made a number of big pitches with men on. Uh, you know, high number of pitches, but still, he battled. Uh, he made, like I said, he got a couple of key strikeouts, particularly to Joseph, then the fifth. Uh, we, we came up big in the leadoff double that Hardy tried to stretch into a triple, a, a great relay by Petey to cut down the, the runner at third base. But uh, even when guys were in scoring position, uh, Joe did not give in one bit here tonight. Uh, I thought he used his breaking stuff, his change up well tonight. And after a full five innings of work, we turned it over to the bullpen that did another great job here tonight. Just going back to Rusne, is there um, has something changed maybe in the last few days that made you guys want to decide to send him down there? Or was he... Yeah, just uh, as we're getting this further away from a couple of at-bats, four bats up in Toronto on the day game against Dickey, uh, just felt like the way things are playing out with pretty much a platoon between Brock and Chris in left field, this was an opportunity to get him down there and uh, get the at bats needed. The dry shirt seemed to cover a lot of ground on that uh, that relay play. You know, what was it like just, just watching him uh, you know, make that play and kind of react to what he saw? You know, when Moogie lets you know the first throw go, I mean, it's it's taking him towards the the, the left field line a little bit, and Petey's taking it on the run. He's he makes the the transfer uh, on the run and throws a strike, which it needed to be. Uh, you know, as much of a bang bang play it was, but you know. Petey's so good at making off-balance throws, whether it's a ground ball up the middle that he can change directions or in a play like we just described. Uh, he's got the knack for accuracy when he's on the run. Yeah, he was dominant tonight. Uh, you know, going up against the same guys he faced just a couple of days ago, uh, you know, he was through his lane, stayed behind the ball uh, more consistently tonight, uh, an outsta a wipeout curveball. I mean, when you're considering high 90s fastball with a high 80s type of curveball, it's, it's premium stuff. Uh, clearly, the swing and miss is there. Uh, nice to be able to go to him uh, and lock down games. Yeah, he's, you know, he's like so many great closers where if a day doesn't go well, he's got a short memory. Uh, wants to get right back to it. Fortunately, we're able to provide a, a lead in the ninth here tonight, and he did a great job. And do you think with Castillo gone, do you, do you guys need another outfielder to come back, or are you comfortable with this roster where it doesn't have to be an outfielder? Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be an outfielder, so uh, you know who that guy will be on Friday is, like I said, remains to be seen, but uh, there's, there's enough versatility to, to continue to cover us.